This is Star Talk. This is from Nancy Lilling on Facebook, who wants to know. Do we know where they're from? I love knowing where they're from. Um, no. Let me see here. Some of them say okay. A lot of them say not. Okay. I, okay. If you write in, I always like knowing where you're yeah, from. Yeah. Just remember that because that it, way Chuck can make fun of your hometown. That, that's <laughs> absolutely. That's what comedians do. That's right? what we do. <laughs> that's why comedians. People don't know this, but that's why comedians say, "Hey, so where are you from?" <laughs> you know that, and the fact that I am out of material. <laughs> that's how it is. That's code for that's I'm that's out of material. That's code for I am done with material, or my material is not working. So hey, where are you from? Okay. All right, so Nancy Lilling comes to us from Facebook, and she wants to know about garbage disposal in space. Mm. Because we clearly have a problem with garbage disposal here on Earth. Mm -hmm. So what? how would trash or garbage be disposed of? And if not, what would it do? All right, so here's the problem on Mars. If Mars is sterile, meaning... It's got no life anywhere, mm, right. not even microbes. If that's the case, it and does. we go live on Mars, uh, normally what do you do on Earth with your garbage? You and throw it. Yeah, we don't we don't burn it anymore. What do no, we do? We put it in a landfill. Yeah, we bury it. Right. All right. So you bury the you bury it, and eventually it decomposes. Okay. Right. All right. Now, what's doing the decomposing? Microbes. Uh, organisms. 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 And so, to be biodegradable means there's some biological action on your garbage that's turning it back into the soils from which it came. Okay, so if you are on Mars and you bury the garbage, it will stay that way forever. Oh. Nothing decomposes. Nothing will decompose right. or break down because... Well, not from biological... I mean, it, there are certain molecules that won't last forever. Okay. But on the time scale, that just because of the, 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 the quantum physics of molecular vibrations. I mean, it's a gotcha. whole... It's they're, they're mo right. But that's a whole other. That's a whole other thing. That's a whole other thing. We can so, get right. So, so the m actual molecular vibrations may cause the dissolution of some Correct. molecules. Correct, and it's why. And the most stable form of an atom or molecule is when it's in the form of a crystal. Right. And that's stable, and then it's not going it, to. It. That's why diamonds are forever. <laughs> Chuck picked up on no. that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so unless every unless all of your garbage is in crystalline form, <laughs> right? It's uh, it, it, the larger molecules could ultimately decay. But what you're really banking on is bi biodegradable, which would happen on a relatively short time scale, you know, years or decades, right? But not thousands of years. So you you need another way to dispose of your garbage. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's basically, you would just turn. So us living there would yep. eventually turn Mars. Into a dump. Into, into a complete dump. That's correct. That's wow. exactly right. And, and, and what does it mean for there to be fertilizer in the ground? It means, you know, there are microbes interacting. You'd have to create a whole biota right. there. And you'd have to terraform Mars in advance before you Before you that. could actually do that. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Or you could just dump your stuff on Pluto. It's not <laughs> even a planet anymore, right? So we just <laughs> take our trash from Mars just and keep, sh shoot at the Pluto. Keep dumping on Pluto. Just dump on Pluto. <laughs> now, here's, uh, now, you might ask, I don't know if they did, but you could ask, why not just send all the garbage to the sun? That, that'd okay. be the ideal disposal. Now, I can't believe you just said that. Why? Because when I was a kid, yeah. and I was very disturbed by the commercials that I saw where there was an Indian who shed one single tear for all the trash that was polluting our earth. I remember that commercial. Yes, yes. and I would get well, so- Well, polluting the United States. No, right, there's exactly. No Indians and, it, right. There, there, the there are Indians. no Indians except for in India, but they're different Indians. <laughs> <laughs> and back then, not that we're being uh, insensitive, back then the concept of Native American didn't quite kick in yet. No, so not at all. There was an Indian guy with a headdress, right? and he and saw humans, uh, Amer Americans, gringos. Gr gringos, <laughs> right. Gringos throwing garbage out their window, and then the, he turned he to He would the turn camera, the camera. And it was a tear. Right. Yeah. Just one single tear streaming down his, his face. I remember that. His non-Indian actor face. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> Basically, no. yeah. No, was it? Yeah, he wasn't an Indian. Well, that, guy was Arnold, that guy was Italian. No, don't I'm tell not, me that. I'm not lying. I saw a whole like little a mini documentary on how he was not an Indian. Not even Indian. Or, or Native American. Native American. Not right. at all. He was an Italian guy that actually took on the entire persona. But anyway, I used to see that commercial and I would wait, get, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Wait, 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 wait. Go the, ahead. The, 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 the Clint Eastwood movies, 
uh, were all Italians, right? The yes. Spaghetti Westerns? Spaghetti Westerns. Playing, playing Mexicans. Playing Mexicans. So Italians, pl- they got a thing going. Well, yeah, you know what it is? Because they're white enough to be white, but yet somehow olive enough to play somebody else. <laughs> okay. So, because from, from, from northern to southern Italy, exactly. you got the whole spectrum. They got the spectrum. Right, right so to the was... Mediterranean ones, to the northern ones. Exactly. So, you know, they, yeah, Hollywood was just like, hmm, we can't actually use a Native American. <laughs> Get me an Italian guy. <laughs> so, okay, so, so your point was so about my this point commercial. Was I would fantasize as a kid from seeing this commercial about putting all the trash in the world in a rocket and shooting it into the sun, and it would burn up before it ever even reached the sun. Right. That's what would happen. That's correct. You lose your you lose your rocket too, yeah. So so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. If it's close enough to burn the trash, you're burning the rocket. Right. So <laughs> uh, so this this great brilliant geeky idea you had as a kid. Uh, the problem is it costs a lot of energy, it, 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 money and energy and rocket fuel just to do that. Right. And it's not quite, you know, it, no. Right. It's not cost effective. Because first of all, it, it takes so much fuel just to get the rocket off the ground. Just to get it the hell off of Earth. Right. right. So let alone all the garbage that would have to be in the rocket. Right now it's $10,000 a pound. And if we uh, to oh. put anything just into orbit, forget about even leaving Earth. So if is, is your garbage worth $10,000 <laughs> Okay. Well, I, I think not. Yes, and that is why you ended up being an astrophysicist <laughs> and I ended up being... A comic. All right. Well, that was great. Fascinating stuff. Who knew we would get all that out of I know, some sorry. trash? I, I didn't mean it. Who knew? This is Star Talk. Star Talk.